video because I uh, it is the one year anniversary uh, today I believe of Planet Side 2's release so I want to talk this, guy survived. this is the fifth time I've killed this guy yeah uh, I want to talk about the $40 bullshit one year anniversary bundle that you can get um okay well first off you get a shitload of you get a shitload of weapons what you could buy with certs, which is okay. I mean, it's just weapons you could buy with certs. Cool, right? No. Um, I, I, you get them for all the factions. You get certain weapons, carbines, snipers for each faction. So, and the only good part about that is you can use it for all the characters and all the factions, and on different servers. You can make a new character and use the weapons. But biggest problem is, oh yeah, wait, I forgot to mention that. The, Rocket launchers are all gold plated, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. Um, it offers a camo, one year anniversary camo for your characters. I think it's supposed to be um, supposed to be in all factions, but I specifically bought it for my Terran character right now, and it looks kind of cool, I guess. I mean, you have a very militaristic design on it. I have it on my Liberator. It looks kind of cool on my Liberator. Prowler looks really cool on Sunder and all that crap. It's you know it's an anniversary camo, so whatever. It's not. It's kind of. It's okay looking. Looks good when it matches with the outfit and the gun, though. Um, you also get a six month experience boost, and I I can see that this is where the uh, money is kind of worthwhile. Six months experience boost, which is normal fifty dollars. It's you know. It's fucking thirty dollars and included in the forty dollar deal. Now I immediately regretted fucking buying this piece of shit after I bought it. I immediately fucking regretted it. You could ask the other guy in the end of this fucking call. I immediately regretted it. I don't think is worth. Oh, he more it. bitched about it. Yeah, it's it's not worth the forty fucking dollars. Okay, um, it's it's not at all. If you if you like the game and support it though, I this is worth it. But otherwise, you're an asswipe for fucking buying this. If you really want a heroic six-month boost and you want the, you know, you spend the $40 on it, well, sweet. I already spend money on 50 fucking percent experience boost gain a month, and I was very disappointed to find out that I cannot use the bullshit boost on every one of my characters. Like, I'm going to log the fuck out right now. I'm going to go on my fucking Vanu character, sign in on this bitch, okay? I'm logging in on this bitch right now, getting in that Indar loading screen, okay? Getting in there. Now, what the fuck? They lied. I can use it on any character I want. Those sacks of shit. Those <laughs> lying assholes. This is the first, this is the second time I've disconnected from this. <laughs> it's fuck. just, that's, no, I've. All right, you should well, be happy. This kind of, okay. The, and I can use the camo on all my characters. They lied okay. so fuck hard. Fuck you, I want to buy it now. They lied so hard. And another catch of this, which is really cool, is I get my fucking Lancer rocket launcher and my one-year anniversary camo, which, by the way, looks really nice on Vano, as I'm seeing right now. Um, finally, I won't look like a prick. Um, whoops, wrong weapon. I won't look like a prick. Uh, one-year anniversary everything. Uh, I'll have Artem tell me if it looks... I mean, it looks okay. You kind of look like a douchebag green guy. But well, uh, he'll give me a fucking second. I fucking got disconnected um, for the second time. Yeah, my Mag Rider, I'll spawn... Uh, the Mag Rider actually might look kind of cool in this new camo. And it looks hideous. <laughs> but whatever, I'll have Artem decide what he thinks. Um, so... I'm going to correct a lot of the things that people are bitching about because obviously it's not all true that you can't use the camo on whichever character you want. They said it, it says specifically for this character that you purchased it for. Well, that's not true. You can use it on any character you want. Any character you want to use it on, okay? Any fucking character. Uh, obviously, when you activate it for that character, it's not going to be available on every other character, but whatever. Now, on this faction, we get the Parallax, Serpent, and the Lancer, and the Corvus. I don't really use the... I don't know. I'll use it later or whatever. Um, I'm still not sure. It says 
ex increases experience gain by 50% for six months, but I have the boost on every one of my characters. And I do not have the boost on, um, I do not have the boost on, what's it called? On Plot fucking, twist. No. I don't have the, the other boost that I have in this character on my fucking Terran character. So obviously, I, I really feel like if I activate on this character, I can activate on every one of them. Now, I'm not too sure about that. I'm not positive, but that's what it seems like. I'm going to go on my new character. I'm actually, this is where obviously you're going to get ripped. Uh, I have Dennis Lindo, one of my other characters. I'm getting rid of this David Lynch character. David Lynch. Now, if I create a new character, I'm going to see. I mean, it's probably not true. I'm going to create... Actually, I'm going to go to a different server. Uh, let's go back. How do I get out of the server? Oh, wow. Open character job. slot. Let me create a new conglomerate on a server. Yeah. Really? Whoa. No, that's right. Okay, I'm going to go on Woodman because people that play vinyl have no wood in their pants. Uh, that's a joke. We're going to skip the tutorial here and... Uh, sign in. This is cool because guess what? Guess what, Artem? Guess what? I mean, nothing. I I, I get the boost oh, wow. on this character too. Okay, obviously that's bullshit. I'm not gonna be able to use this boost forever, but obviously whatever character I decide to activate it on, I'm sure that'll count. But I have new weapons on all my characters no matter which faction I play for. So I want this Razor GD23. And also, the only time I can use a camo on um, cross-server is with this one-year anniversary camo. So I can come on the server as a complete newbie and still dress with this camo. Um, there you go. There you go. Yeah, I get this Razor GD23 carbine. I guess it's a long-distance carbine. It seems to do a lot of damage. Personally, I fucking hate new conglomerate. I'm sorry, I do. Um... I have the Carnage for the Engineer, or the Combat Medic, rather. I can use the Razor for that. I don't think there's a new weapon for Heavy Assault, but who's not going to use the Gauss Saw? Um, yeah, man. Yeah, Phoenix. Now, this is neat because this is a gold-plated Phoenix. The one down here is similar. Actually, they, they never... I, I it, You know, there's extra gold plating on this one. It's kind of a waste of money. But hey, if you have extra money to throw down and you like it, cool. Now, I'd be, I really wish they kind of would give me some max weapons involved in it, but I can't really get too greedy. It also comes with a new sniper rifle uh, for each faction, so you're pretty much set on any server you play on um, for quite some time. Like, I'm going to give this nice, good-looking guy his... Um... Look at that. Um... Look at that. That is beautiful. That's fucking hideous. The camo, I'm not really a big fan of, but hey, it gives me a unique look. Uh, I really feel like I contributed to the game, and it's kind of decent in that regard. As you can see here, I do get, as I said, rocket launcher, carbine, sniper on every class, and as well as a assault rifle for every uh, faction on any server, and you'll always have them from now on. So, I mean, if you're really involved in the game, and you want us to have the extra money. You get this decal. I mean, who cares about this decal? It's ugly. But hey, if you want to spend the money on the game, go ahead. You know? It's kind of... The decal actually looks cool on infantry, though. I'll give it that. On the Max, the headshot logo on the side of it is kind of somewhat frightening. It shows that you're a badass motherfucker that blew off $40 in this game. But what are you going to do, right? So, um... Right. Well, Yes, so I think it's worth it, sort of. I didn't think it was worth it when I started the video, which is kind of funny because I should have known what the fuck I was doing. But yes, uh, it's kind of uh, kind of interesting. Consider it in the next couple days when it's uh, you know while it's still out. Otherwise, it'll fade away. Um, it's definitely more than people were pinning it to be. You can decide which character you want to put the boost on. So I'll save that boost for when I really need it. I'll probably use a six month boost when I'm full Terran. I can activate it at any time, so that's a good thing. So definitely invest in it. Otherwise, you'd have to wait $50, $50 for the six-month boost, and it's only $40 for tons of equipment now that you couldn't otherwise get. So, you know, if you enjoy, like I said, if you enjoy the game and you think it's worth it, go ahead. Thanks for watching, guys.